hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be drawing the orthographic view of a single revert lap joint all right and i've also made a video on welding process which single revert lap joint is a subtopic under it so you can check the link in the description below if you want to know more about welding process okay so now we have been given a question which says draw the orthographic view of the single revert lap joint that is the one on the screen suitable for joining two plates each four millimeter thick so we have been given the thickness of the plate to be what to be four centimeters sorry that's four centimeter okay the thickness is four centimeter now they ask us to use the scale of four ratio one that is anywhere we have a dimension we have to what divide it by four so using scale of four ratio one this is going to become 4 over 4 that is 1 centimeter all right the thickness of the plate is going to become 1 centimeter now we are going to be dealing with these parameters first before we move straight into the drawing proper all right so let's calculate the diameter of the rivet which is small letter d all right small letter d to calculate the diameter of the rivet we use the formula 6 root t okay this t stands for the thickness of the plate so that is going to be what 6 root 4 and that is going to give us 12 centimeter all right so now we have to make use of our scaled dimension all right so that will be 12 over 4 which is going to give us 3 centimeter okay so the diameter of the rivet we are going to be using while drawing is 3 centimeter okay so now we are also going to be what drawing taking the dimension for the margin from the rivet O, from the rivet O to the end of the plate and to calculate the margin it is always what 1.5 D this D stands for the diameter of the rivet okay so that is going to be equals to 1.5 times 12 and punching my calculator I'm getting 18 centimeter 18 centimeter so to get our scaled dimension which is the real dimension we are using that's going to give us 4.5 centimeter all right so now we move straight to the pitch which is the distance between the center of the rivets okay so to calculate the pitch that is 3d okay that is 3 times the diameter of the rivet and that is what 3 times 12 that's going to give us what 36 centimeter so making use of our scale dimension that's 36 divided by 4 that is going to give us 9 9 centimeter all right so our pitch is going to be 9 centimeter now the diameter of the head of the rivet okay that is d capital letter d is what 1.6 d diameter of the rivet and that is 1.6 times 12 which is going to give us 1 9.2 centimeter that's 19.2 centimeter so 19.2 divided by 4 is going to give us 4.8 centimeter so we are going to be making use of the scaled dimension throughout all our drawing okay we are not going to be making use of this true dimension because we have been given a scale of 4 ratio 1 in the question we have been given okay so now we are going to move straight to drawing the front view that is the section front view of this particular single rivet now the first thing we have to do is to draw our straight line which is going to be a thin line for now now we have been given the thickness of the plate to be what one centimeter a single rivet lap joint it is a plate above another plate okay when we have two plates okay this is a plate above another plate okay so we have been given the thickness of one of the plate to be one centimeter okay and the thickness of the other plate is also going to be what one centimeter so i'm going to pick one centimeter upward then one centimeter downward like this so at this point i would draw my straight line and then draw a straight line like this in this manner so we are going to be drawing the diameter of the rivet so this is three centimeter as given here so from this center here let me draw my center my center line which is going to be a what well, it's seen long chain line that is center line 
you are going to draw it in this manner a long line a dot a long line a dot a long line okay we have been given the diameter of the river to be what three centimeter so we are going to pick what the radius which is 1.5 i'm going to pick 1.5 to this edge okay and then i'm going to pick 1.5 also to this edge to make it three centimeter diameter all right so now at this point i'm going to draw a straight line like this i'll thicken it out immediately in order to save time okay so it is going to be like this now the next thing we are going to be doing is to draw the margin okay the margin and we have been given the margin from the rivet o to be what to be 4.5 centimeter so from this center here i'm going to mark what 4.5 this is 4.5 okay this is 4.5 all right then from here also i'll mark 4.5 like this this is 4.5 so at those points i'm going to make use of a very very faint line a very very faint line please make use of a very very faint line at those point of 4.5 we are going to be coming back there all right so now the next thing we are going to do is to draw the head okay the head we have been given the diameter of the head to be 4.8 okay so i'm going to pick a radius of 2.4 on my on my compass a radius of 2.4 okay this is 2.4 so placing it here i'm going to what i'm going to draw this is the head okay then i'll place it here also and draw like this okay so now we have been given an angle here of eight degree so we are going to pick our our protector we are going to measure its degree from this straight line this center here okay so the way we are going to do it is we are going to count it towards our left hand side this is five here yeah? this is six this is seven and this is eight okay so from here we are going to what we are going to draw like this okay we are going to do exactly the same for this part place it here okay so we are going to count our eight towards this part so our eight is going to be landing around here okay it's going to be landing around here so i would what i would draw we are going to be extending it a little bit it is actually continuous okay that's why we are going to be making use of break line i'm going to be talking about that when we are drawing the plan okay it is actually continuous but for the purpose of this video you can as well use any amount in all in your in your work so i'll be making use of 1.5 or let me make use of one i'll make use of one okay one centimeter then i'll make use of one centimeter yeah okay so at this point i'm going to draw a straight line here like this and join this together in this manner okay then at this point also i'll do the same and join this okay so that is that for this edge okay now the next thing and also very important thing to do is to what do the ashing okay we are going to do the ashing of this particular front view don't forget i said we are drawing the section from view okay so in order to ash i'll put my 45 degrees s square then i start my ashing in this manner okay take note the ashing is going to be different from the up and the down because it is what it is a lap joint it is a lap joint all right so now this is the way we are going to ash it this other part is going to be what a different it's going to be a different shape in this manner let me just do it 
like this it is going to go like this why is it like that is because there are two plates overlapping on each other so the sectioning is going to show that this is actually two plates overlapping on each other and ensure that while sectioning the space is not too large and not too fine that is is not too thin that is what i mean by fine okay so this is the front view of this particular single rivet lap joint which is actually on the screen which we have been asked to draw so the next thing we have to do is to draw the the plan okay or the top view of this single rivet joint and also we are also asked to what show a minimum on the plan okay a minimum of two rivets okay we are asked to show a minimum of two rivets right on the plan so the first thing we have to do now to draw the plan is to start with our circle which is the what the diameter that is the edge of this our rivet okay so we are going to draw the circle it is actually going to be showing like a circle on top when viewing it from top so the first thing is to what pick the diameter of the bigger one which is of the edge which is what 4.8 so we are going to pick a radius of 2.4 we are going to pick a radius of 2.4 on our compass now in order not to make a mistake of it being too close to this one we are going to what mark about four let's mark about four centimeter okay let's mark about four centimeter from the head okay according to the size of your book you can mark any amount of space you want so from that point i'm going to what draw my circle okay in this manner so at the center i'm going to draw a center line also like this this is a center line now we have been given the pitch to be nine centimeter that is the distance from what the center of each rivet head okay so we are going to mark nine centimeter this is nine okay this is nine here yeah? then at the point of nine centimeter i'm going to what draw another circle so now what we are going to be doing next is to draw the one at the center that is what this diameter of the rivet we are going to be drawing it okay we are also going to be representing it but take note it cannot actually be seen imagine we are seeing this thing from the top this part will not be seen so we are going to represent it with what short dashes like hidden detail and we have been given the diameter to be what three so i'm going to take 1.5 as my radius okay 1.5 as my radius i'm going to place it here then make use of what short dashes line okay i'm going to make use of short dashes line to draw our circle then i'll do exactly the same thing for this other part short dashes line in this manner okay so that's that for that in this part also we are going to what draw our center line okay we are going to draw our center line right here also so the next thing we have to do is to trace these points downward okay we are going to trace this point and this point downward and we are going to pick our c square to do that so from here from here i'm going to be tracing it downward and don't forget this part is what it is down okay this part is down and this part is up so this part is going to be drawn with what with hidden line it's going to be done with short dashes because you cannot actually see it okay so you cannot see it from the top when viewing from the top so you are going to draw it with what hidden lines which is what short dashes so when i trace down i'll draw with short dashes then this from here also this edge here okay we are going to also trace that down also 
short dashes okay so now this part can actually be seen from the top so we are going to trace that down also but this time around we are going to make use of what of a straight line which is visible a straight line okay then at this point also yeah we are going to draw a straight visible line okay we are going to draw this edge also these two edges also remember what i told you when we started i was like this line is like an extension it can be extended to any point okay so because of it is an extension we can actually draw that making use of our free hand but for this video i'm not going to be making use of my free hands to draw it okay so i'm going to be making use of break lines break line representation that's what we are going to be making use to draw this particular one it can also be represented like that to represent that it can be extended okay so it's going to be in this manner this same thing too goes for this particular place we are going to what draw these two down project this down okay and do exactly the same with our free hand this should be done with your free hand not necessarily needed to use a ruler to do this okay so now we are going to go to the part of the overlapping this part is actually the part that cannot be seen so it is going to be what inside so now to do that from here i'm going to what join this to this okay let's erase this ss okay let's erase this at the top okay i'll join this to this this two that is coming down then extend extend this downward i will extend this downward okay and also extend this downward and then join okay like this in this manner okay I'm going to be like so let me take in this out first before we finish it up if you actually found value in this video please don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button thank you for doing that okay so now the last thing we are going to be doing is to what draw our cutting plane okay is to draw our cutting plane which is going to be like this in this manner we are going to draw section a a more more like a section line okay then at this top also we are going to join these two together like this let's extend this upward that is the main reason why i said you should leave small space in between these two we are going to join this and then we are going to join this also like this share with your friends that might need this video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next